everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel for yet another video. Today I am going to do my March 2016 favorites and I did one last month so I'll have that linked below if you want to check that out because I did have some great favorites last month. So I don't have as many favorites this month but I am going to do something a little bit different and add in some random stuff, lifestyle things, and also talk about some of my favorite songs at the end of the video. Really quick, I am testing out a new background. Now I'm not necessarily going to use this for just like sit down talk videos like this is. It's more for tutorials and um, things like that. But I just wanted to test it out today because I'm not sure when my next tutorial is going to be. So let me know how you guys like it. Um, I do have a favor to ask though. If anybody knows how to get rid of like the shadows behind me. Like I want it to be bright enough behind me so that you don't see any shadows or anything. But no matter like how close I have my lighting or anything like that. These shadows are still showing up so I'm not sure how to get rid of that. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you like favorites and leave me a comment down below saying some of your favorites from this month and if you like this video stick around to be part of the family and hit the subscribe button. So without further ado let's get into my March favorites. First two products I want to talk about today that I've been absolutely loving all month. I've been using these products for more than a month but I wanted to wait to mention them in a video to see if they still worked with my skin and they are part of the Neutrogena Naturals line. I really have been loving both of these products. The first one I wanted to mention is the multivitamin nourishing night cream. The packaging is really sleek and you can tell that I've used quite a bit of it. It's a really nice consistency. It's thin and kind of watery so it's not heavy on your skin but you can also really feel it hydrating. It says night cream but I've been using this pretty much whenever I apply moisturizer aside from when I used my Nail Bay moisturizer which I've mentioned in other videos. And another product from that line that I absolutely recommend is the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Plus Makeup Remover. So this is not only a face wash but it claims to really get off all of your makeup whenever you use it which it definitely does. I've really been leaning towards using this compared to my um, makeup wipes lately because I feel like this is a lot gentler on my skin. I'm not tugging at it and rubbing a cloth on it, especially around my eye area. This stuff truly gives my face a good clean, helps me feel like it's really getting in my pores all while taking off my makeup. Now I have one lip product to share for the month, which is a MAC lipstick. This is a luster in the shade Giddy. I've been loving this color for this month. It's great for the spring and summer. It's just a very pretty coral shade, kind of pinky. I have it on my lips right now, so it's what I'm wearing. I think I've actually worn it in another video as well. So if you like this color, you should definitely check it out. I love the smell of MAC lipsticks. I love the formula, and I definitely love the wear of them too. But like I had mentioned in my previous favorites, I want to mention a palette each month that I've really been using a lot. And this month, it has definitely been my Tarte Poppy Picnic palette. When you open it up, there's a big mirror, which I'm going to try and cover for you guys. It doesn't help that the packaging is really glary too. But it has an absolutely beautiful blush in the middle. I love the Amazonian clay blushes. This one is a very like pinky and peachy and has a lot of gold shimmer in it. I'm wearing it today, but because the lights are so bright, you're not going to be able to see it. Um, I am also wearing eyeshadows from this palette today as well. So here's a better view of the palette. I usually use this side because I love this kind of like light pinky peach shade right here. But today I did use all of these shades. And as you can see, it really just gives a nice natural eye look. And I like that they are mostly, um, well actually... They're all matte shades. It's nice that they have a blush that's very sparkly and pretty because it kind of breaks up your face from looking too dull from matte shadows. And the last beauty related product I want to talk about is my favorite fragrance of the month. And I've been reaching for this Plum Cider Warmth Fine um, Mist Fragrance from Bath & Body Works. And I know this is like more of a fall scent, but it really has a nice light floral sweet scent to it. I don't necessarily think this is just because it says cider, you know, you think of um, fall time apple cider. But this was pretty much unused when I started using it this month and quite a bit of it is gone. So I really love this scent. Unfortunately, they probably don't have it in the stores anymore, but I'm sure you can find something very similar to it. Okay, so now for the random lifestyle things. Do you see my little curtain moving? That's my cat back there. This is Remy. She looks like she's really mad. She probably is and wants to rip my face off. 
<laughs> but this is the culprit of the curtain moving. Okay, so as I was saying, the first random thing, and this is just a cardboard gift um, gift card holder, but I just wanted to show something representing the company. But for the longest time, I've been a diehard Starbucks fan. I never wanted Dunkin' Donuts. I would always bash it and say, oh, Dunkin' Donuts sucks. Just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's better, blah, blah, blah. But it actually has been one of my favorite obsessions for this past month. I feel like literally almost every other day or every day I've been going there and getting the same thing, which is a iced coffee with skim milk and caramel. Last random lifestyle thing. This is an unopened pack because I have another one. This is the Sour Patch Kids Extreme Gum. I love all of these flavors, but they recently came out with the Blue Raspberry one, which if you know anything about Sour Patch Kids, when they came out with the Blue Raspberry one, it was like none of the other ones even mattered anymore. And this gum is an exact replica, except it doesn't come along with all the sugar and all the calories. So I recommend picking this up next time you're at Target or your local grocery store and definitely trying it out if you are a candy freak but you're trying to kind of get spring, summer body ready um, but still allowing yourself the delicious taste of Sour Patch Kids. So like I said, I wanted to mention some songs of the month. I'm just going to show them on my Spotify playlist which I'm going to have my Spotify linked down below in case you want to follow my playlist. I'm a music junkie. My um, music style, it, it really, I can't describe it in one word. It goes from country music to the next song that plays is hardcore rap to indie to metal to pop, something that's on the radio. My friends always comment whenever they're driving with me and my music's playing. They're like, Amanda, like your style like jumps all over the place. First song that I discovered this month that I wanted to mention is 17 by Tessa Ray. I'm not gonna play the songs in the video just because of copyright reasons, but I am going to have each song listed down below so you can listen to them on YouTube. So that is more of an indie style song. Um, another song that I have been loving is or nah by ty dolla sign so that's one of my like rap songs coming out um but that i've loved that song for such a long time but i literally like it's probably one of my top played songs another great song is rock bottom by Haley steinfeld i love that somebody else by the 1975 is amazing i absolutely love that band so when i saw it they came out with a new song i was like yes no matter even if it isn't that good i'm going to add it to my playlist so those are all my favorites for this march i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you check out at least some of the songs that i have linked below so again thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and look out for my next video it's going to be something a little bit different from me i'm not going to say exactly what it is yet so it's more of a surprise remember to subscribe so you do get notified when i post new videos i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye